So in this video, we're going to be completing our messages system, because if we look at what we created in the initial part of this series before the design, you can see this is our messaging system. And I don't like the look of that. So for the design, what I did was pretty much start from scratch. So here's the design here, we have the title of the page, and then we have down the left hand side, everyone who sent you a message. In this case, there's just three people It's not actually working It's just a design. And then over here, we have the messages that show up as bubbles. So to get this design to work, what we have to do is we actually have to change the way we're retrieving messages from the database. At the minute, what we're doing is we're just selecting all of the messages and all of the users and we're joining them together. But what we're going to do is we're going to use a more advanced query that allows us to download all of the messages that were received by a certain user. So in SQL Pro, this is what our actual database looks like. We have the ID of the sender, the ID of the receiver, and we have the status, whether it was read or not. So this is what our finished query will return. It has the username of the sender, the username of the receiver, and the actual message itself. So here's our query. So what this query does is it selects the ID of the message, the message body, the username of the person who sent it and the receipt and the username of the person who received it and it uses left joins to be able to join the same table multiple times but you can see that this query is going to return every message for every user so what we want to do is make it a bit more specific by adding a where clause and what we want to do is say where the receiver which we refer to as r.username r.username in the equals and in this case we're going to say we're logged in as how code and s.username equals and then in this case we're going to refer to the sender as s.username so if i run this we won't get any difference because you can see for all of these messages the sender and the receiver are the same but what i'm going to do is modify this so if i change the sender from the id of one to say number seven that's going to give us a different user so now when i run the query you can see that that message disappeared and if i remove the where clause and run it again now you can see we have that other message so this is what our query is going to look like so we're going to copy that and we're going to use our api to query the database so in the get method we're going to add another endpoint so the endpoint we're going to add is going to be as if get url equals and the endpoint is going to be called messages so we want to get the sender and the receiver so we're going to say sender is going to be equal to get sender and the receiver and the receiver is going to be whoever's logged in so to get the user id i'm just going to get the token from the cookie and i'm going to copy this query and use this query for the user id so we're just going to paste that in there so now we have the sender and the user id or the receiver we could call it receiver and now that we have the sender and the receiver we can actually get the messages for any particular user so we'll just say messages is equal to db query and here we want to paste in our query so here's the query we designed earlier just paste that in there and change username to receiver or we'll just call it r and s dot username to sender or we're just going to call it s so we want to pass our array with our variables so the first one is r and it's going to be equal to the receiver so we get the receiver and then we want to get the sender and this is going to return an array and before our query will work what we actually want to do is change it so that instead of targeting r.username we want to target we want to target r.id and s.id because we're trying to compare a username to an id so that's never going to work so our sender takes an id and our receiver returns us an id so we're just going to refer to these two as ids so now what i'm going to do finally is i'm just going to echo out the json that we get back so messages is an array so we want to say json encode to convert it to a json string and we want to convert messages and we're going to print that out and if i just print some pre-tags above it by printing the pre-tags, this plugin I have in Chrome will format it nicely for us. So if I refresh, there's the format. And what I did was I went into the database and I just modified a couple of the senders and receivers. I'm just gonna do one more. I'm just gonna change the sender of this one to seven and the receiver to one, because that's the user who I'm logged in as. If I refresh, now we have a third message, but we're not getting any messages that Francis sent to that user because you can see I just added a new one. So what I want to do is just go into our code and modify our query. So if we just surround this in brackets, that will just make sure that this part of the query is evaluated as one chunk. And what I want to do is I want to say, well, the receiver is us and the sender is, is this person here, or the receiver is the sender and the sender is the receiver. In other words, that means show all of the messages that I have received from this user who we're calling the sender, or show all of the messages that I have sent to this user. So I paste this in here and I just reverse it. So the receiver is going to be the sender and the sender is going to be the receiver. Now, if I run this, you can see we get that new message printed out. And in this message, the sender was me and the receiver was the person I sent it to, which was also the person who sent me these other messages. But that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Reddit. If you have any questions, you can always email me. But that's it for this video, and I'll see you next time.